What's going on you guys? I'm Sasha Boss and today I am taking a look at the final member that I need to complete the Bad Batch with. Ladies and gentlemen, this character is notorious and the most hated in my opinion. I hate her so much. Omega. Yes, this character is, or Omega. Omega, Amiga, Mega, whatever you want to call it. But this is the character that I have been dreading to get in the collection for the longest time. Just because I hate the character. I'm just, I made some stupid rule for myself waiting to get her for $10, which never happened. I got her for 18 on Amazon, of all places, to get uh, a Mega Mercenary. Yeah, I know. I've been dreading this figure for a long time, and I finally got it. And now, let's go closer look at the packaging. Also, guys, this is my first single issue contactless uh, free packaging for the Black Series figure. And this looks amazing. It is super light, too. So, this is uh, a contactless packaging, obviously. So, this is Star Wars The Black Series. Very, I really like this packaging, too. This is Omega right here, the bow and arrow. This is the Bad Batch right here. This is the Omega Mercenary Gear. Very darker to see on camera. Uh, but it says mercenary gear right here recommendations of four and up uh plastic free packaging and this says omega right here um looking really dapper when this figure was announced too i immediately had to grab this figure just because it just aesthetically is the best for omega because you get the alternate head and everything but um it has omega right here it says omega mercenary gear it says young clone um clone omega travels um uh, with her brothers in the Bad Batch, armed with her trusty energy bow, she's unsubscribable on the galaxy adventure across a rapidly changing galaxy. So start with the Black Series, Omega, has Rel Legalese, number 18 in the line, barcode for trying to hunt down those yeah. figures. Yeah, she's pretty widely available out there. So, right now guys, I'm gonna crack open this packaging, take out Omega, and show you guys everything that she comes with. Well. Also, awesome, guys, here's everything she comes with. I always forget to mention this on the contactless packaging, but this will be the really cool angle that I'm going to miss the most, probably, with the collection of um, Windows coming back. I don't really care to see this, but this is everything that she comes with in the box, which is unfortunate. She looks like a homework ornament, but it looks kind of cool. It's only four centimeters tall, which is or four inches tall, which is interesting to have that on the figure. I don't think the Cad Bane 2 back I've reviewed had that or the Marvel Legends ones had that either. I don't know. Uh, just go back to the channel and probably check those figures out. Okay guys, so here is Omega in her uh, plastic tomb, whatever you wanna call it. This is where uh, the figure is trapped in with all of her accessories. And I'm gonna crack this thing open and open everything up. Also, there's no uh, Star Wars The Black Series um, uh, what's whatsoever like wrapping paper on the figure besides the actual figure is in the Black Series wrapper. So it's interesting actually. So I'm gonna unbox everything and I'll be- Also guys, get your meal this time. You get the, get the hot dog, you get their two sides and a dessert, which is ice cream sandwich, apparently. Hmm, who knew? <laughs> okay, regardless, jokes aside, let's get on sidetrack. Let's unbox. So guys, here is the uh, accessory bag with the black series on it, where Omega is, which looks really nice. That's what the figure is indicated. But also one thing I'm gonna miss the most is how they wrap, uh, wrap uh, the weapons. Cause I think it just looks fairly nice. Um, how they do it, just it won't bend when you open the figure and just looks super nice when you pose it. So just gonna keep it pretty nice and still. So I'll be right back. Okay guys, so here is a mega out of the packaging. I gotta tell you, this figure looks outstanding. I love the likeness here. So even though I don't like the character, but the likeness is on par. Okay guys, now let's take a closer look at the accessories and then a mega herself. Okay, guys, so here is Omega's accessories. Going forward, guys, she comes with this a beautiful head sculpt, ladies and gentlemen, that is like literally painted through the roof. She has amazing like likeness and beautiful hair. She just looks amazing. I love the brown wash, uh, blondish brown wash they use for her. And if you didn't know who Omega is, uh, she is actually a clone that is kind of like, almost like the Bad Batch is like, help person like you know she's only like the adopted daughter of the team but she's also um she's, i find her very annoying but she's also the one that gets them in the most trouble <laughs> uh, so yeah there's a mega right here just amazing i love the head beautiful and then guys um uh, she does come with her closed up bow as well or bow and arrow 
I'm not really sure what the name of it in, in canon is, but it's just a very nice collapsible weapon that looks really nice as well. It goes on her back. And then she comes with a bigger bow, which is gonna be a little bit difficult getting into her hand, I feel like, but I think it looks nice. It looks aesthetically beautiful, I love it. Um, the platinum looks super nice. Love the uh, purple lasers coming through it. And apparently it comes off, breaks off in three pieces according to another reviewer's um, analysis on this thing. I just love the gold and black wash on this bow. Looking really nice. Okay guys, now let's take a closer look at Omega. This figure right here, guys, is amazing. Look at the likeness to Omega right here. She just has the beautiful face that we all know and love from the show. This is one of Hasbro's best head sculpts ever. And when they announced the alternate heads, I was freaking out because I was on the struggle bus again, the original one, then I got this one. And I'm just super, super excited just because we have alternate heads finally in the Black Series line. Yes. Okay, we're definitely demonstrating that. But also this head sculpt right here is second to none. Love her angry kind of smirk kind of gem. The other one's more relaxed. The one who's more like bad butt ready for battle with the boys. Uh, she has this almost like pod racer-esque helmet. And I absolutely love the addition of her hair kind of sticking through it. And it just looks amazing, guys. Love the paint deco. I love the gold on top of the helmet. Just looks really nice. Look at this beautiful paint deco that is. And the head sculpt is second to none. Easily Hasbro's best head sculpt of the year goes to this Omega figure. And oh my gosh, beautiful likeness. Going down here, Hasbro did a really good job of representing um, how she looks in the show. She literally looks like she stepped out of the show right here. And she has uh, her beautiful jacket on, blue jacket, red uh, shirt, red tunic, if you will. Um, this nice satchel, um, looking really nice, really well painted. You got a little peggle for the bow, the bow caster to go across it. We got the red uh, wristband. Her hands right here do not have interchangeable hands, but they're just normal hands. And then regular legs, uh, regular gray pants, if you will. And then she has um, this beautiful uh, brownish black boots with this nice sculpt everywhere. Yeah, a really well sculpted figure overall. And she just looks amazing. Absolutely stunning. Yeah, I think the best uh, sculpting on here is just the jacket with all the pockets and patches and everything. And the overall way the figure looks like she looks like she stepped out the show. Well, wow. really well uh, out done figure. Okay guys, now it's time for Omega's articulation. I gotta tell you, this figure up close, looking at it, is amazing. At likeness is beautiful. I just have a little bit of uh, paint that I didn't see on here, which is okay. Um, but I just gotta say, easily the best likeness I have seen in an action figure in a very long time. So shout out to the Hasbro Black Series team. Great job. So guys, her head can move up this much. It's very tight on this dumbbell joint. Uh, she can look down, she can look side to side. Um, with her helmet on. Uh, her arms can move out this much, guys. Move out this much. Uh, diaphragm joint. She can uh, have waist swivel like this. Ab crunch forward. Ab crunch back. Um, she actually does have a single jointed elbow, it looks like, if I can get it. Yeah, single jointed elbow. Single jointed elbow right here for our mega figure. Um, right here. And her legs do move out like this. Um, really nice range of the legs. She does have a single jointed leg right here, single jointed leg. And I think she does have butterfly joints, but oh my goodness. But she she has a really nice um, range of motion on those legs too. Has been a really good job. And she has boot swivel. Yeah, she has, she actually has boot swivel as well on the actual figure. So yeah, her articulation is pretty nice. And then I'm gonna see if I can pop off the head quickly. Oh, this comes off. This comes off really easy, like a three by 75 inch figure. So it's um, very easy to put on. Let's see. Oh, also this is what the dumbbell joint looks like in the black series figures. I'm always afraid to take it off. Um, so I'm putting on her regular portrait, um, which looks amazing. And she has more range um, on that as well. Look at that. Oh, man, Hasbro did a really good job on the both head sculpts right here. I can decide what head sculpt I'd like better. I like the helmeted one for reasons. I like the unmasked one for reasons, the unhelmeted one uh, for reasons. Just like an excellent sculpt, hands down. I really wish they did this for the clones, where they have like the unhelmeted like head sculpt, like 
Like, I love the removable helmet, but if you had an extra head sculpt, but I think it looks nicer and the helmet would sit better on the figure. So that's why I prefer that way. But it's really nice that Hasbro really included this. So I can't wait to see what other figures uh, down the road that we use. Okay, this. guys, I'm going to load her up and I'll show you guys um, some comparisons for oh, this. It's super easy to uh, get on, actually, guys. It just You just have to uh, um, maneuver the hands a little bit and then you just like find like where the pl pl um, plugs into and he just puts it on there. Just really easy. Okay, now for the comparison. Sense. First up, guys, here is a Mega next to a Jawa. Yeah, so oh, here's sorry. a Mega next to a Jawa. And I gotta say, the Jawa is about the same height as a Mega. Or a Mega might be a little taller than the Jawa um, by looking at these two like side by side, which is pretty here's a surprising comparison that not a lot of people will make a comparison with uh, or not really talk about in the community. This is Quill from The Mandalorian Season 1 um, next to Omega. They're both about the same height. Um, I think Quill is a little bit more heavier and thicker than Omega because Omega is more thin, um, thinner than Quill, but uh, he, he just looks a really nice resemblance of both of them side by side. So it'd be kind of cool to see her trained by Quill or something. I don't know. I don't feel like my head cannon. Okay, this is what you're here for, right? This is what you're here for. Ready? Ready, Dude, ready, ready. This is sick. This is the whole team together. Clone Force 99 all put together. We got Tech, Hunter, Echo, Wrecker, and Crosshair, and Omega uh, all lined up side by side. And this is just how I represent the whole entirety of the Bad Batch. I would definitely pull some better later, but these are just how I absolutely, I can't tell you how astounded I am to have the whole team all together in my light box. It just looks amazing, guys. Oh, and Mega just like really fits in um, with the whole entire team here. It just looks absolutely stunning to have every single character all, all together. This this really makes my Star Wars heart grow like two sizes this holiday season. Oh, I'm just super happy. <laughs> uh, this, I'm nerding out, I'm nerding out. There you have it. This is an excellent action figure and must have. If you're just wanting the regular Omega, I definitely say do not get that figure. Just get the mercenary gear Omega just because she is the best quality of Omega that you can get in the collection because you get the interchangeable head, amazing accessories, and they look amazing next to the season one Bad Batch figures. Also guys, if you missed out on the Bad Batch figures, I think the season two ones are widely available too uh, across Walmarts and like online retailers right now. So they will pop up uh, from time to time. But Omega's sort of kind of hard to find in the wild, but also kind of hard to find online if you're just, Gotta look deep, gotta look deep for that figure. But regardless guys, how do I recommend this figure? I 100% recommend she is a 10 out of 10. Even though she's small, but mighty, I just cannot decide what head sculpt I'm gonna keep on the figure. They're just amazing likeness, amazing articulation. And my only gripe is, I wish she comes with a um, uh, Wrecker's Bunny. Cause I don't know why they didn't come with Wrecker's Bunny. Also a um, set of interchangeable hands would be additionally, would be amazing. For the figure so i could probably could see it maybe like three figures down from the third time they're releasing the figure but overall 10 out of 10 i love the gear i love this outfit that mega has and she's also amazing um amazing. even though i hate the character i think she's amazing um, for certain aspects of things she has done and she i think she looks pretty bad but also guys i forgot to mention that she also has her comma strapped um to her satchel right uh her satchel um right here too also this also look um great too with the season two bad batch members so this is where they're all decked out into like this beach kind of camouflage um almost like shore trooper uh, shore trooper -y, if that makes any sense to you well regardless guys i'm Saj the boss and thank you guys for watching and stay tuned for more star wars the black series videos um down the line so thank you i can't believe i have clone force 99 all together also, Wrecker is my favorite member of the team. Just looks absolutely stunning. Thank you, and I'll see you guys later for more. Bye-bye.